Cubase 4 introduces a powerful media management system called MediaBay. One of the biggest problems in a typical project studio environment is the management of plugins, instruments, loops and presets, etc. MediaBay gives Cubase users total control over all their instrument sounds, DSD effect plugin presets, audio loops and clips, MIDI files, track presets, even video files or entire Cubase project files. It is the central place for browsing, searching, managing and categorizing any type of media file, a centerpiece of Steinberg's unique sound frame architecture. But MediaBay is more than a database. It also includes a smart file browser with flat and focus modes, as well as user-definable presets for search locations. The powerful filter section offers both a multi-level detail search mode and a convenient category search mode, which is perfect for browsing instrument presets or track presets. The viewer area displays search results and can be quickly reorganized by sorting after category or type using its user-definable column views and column order. Files can be imported into the current project either by context menu command or simple drag and drop. The scope section of Media Bay gives a closer view at the selected media file. It features preview functions, including auto preview and preview in project context to play loops in the project tempo. Audio files have a ruler waveform display. Standard transport controls are available as well. The tag editor is used to apply and edit standard and user-definable attributes to any media file that is supported in MediaBay. Besides the standard MediaBay window, there are multiple adaptive views of MediaBay available everywhere across Cubase 4. This includes a special sound frame view for browsing sounds across available internal and external instruments, a convenient loop browser, as well as any load or save dialogs for VST presets and track presets. Users can conveniently switch between browsing for sounds or searching for a specific drum loop or audio sample via key commands without having to reorganize browser windows. The SoundFrame browser window is specially configured to browse sounds across the entire studio. With Cubase 4's loop browser, users can directly access their existing loop library and preview any loop with just a single click, even in context with the current arrangement. Whether you need to search for drum loops, look for a specific sound, add a whole library of files to your system, or categorize your presets by type, style, character, or your own personal choice of user-definable attributes, Cubase's new Media Bay is the place to manage all of these tasks. Instrument tracks combine MIDI input and audio output into one single track and mixer channel. Instrument tracks are a huge time saver for using virtual instruments in Cubase and have the additional benefit of showing MIDI and plugin automation in the same location. Of course, instrument tracks are fully integrated with Cubase's new SoundFrame Universal Media Library. Setting up a track for a VSTI is now only two clicks away. One of the most powerful new features in Cubase 4 is track presets, especially when they're combined with the new media bay. Track presets are snapshots of entire track channel strips. They are available for audio, MIDI, and instrument tracks, and can be categorized using media bay attributes. Audio track presets contain EQ and insert effect information. MIDI track presets save MIDI port, channel, and patch data, as well as additional track parameters like MIDI plugins. Instrument track presets include a combination of audio and MIDI track presets, as well as selected instrument and preset information. Track presets open a whole new dimension in sound and track management. Besides being used as templates for new tracks, track presets can also be used to extract EQ or effect settings and paste these into other tracks. Since any type of sound, external MIDI or internal VSTI can be organized in track presets, Searching sounds across instruments is possible. Finally, even multiple tracks can be saved into a single multi-track template. This allows for complex sound textures from multiple sources. Combinations of tracks can also be saved as multi-track presets. Also included are all insert effect settings as well as EQ. Track presets can be saved with attributes like category, style, character, etc. This opens up a whole new dimension in sound management. As you can see, the new Cubase 4 features are much more than the sum of their parts. 
Essentially, it's up to the user how best to use these new functions. But under the SoundFrame umbrella, there's some really powerful stuff right at your fingertips.